Yo guys, what is going on? It's Aluki here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the fastest ways you can level up your weapons in Season 4. Every single time there is a new season, I do remake this video in order to keep you guys up to date with all of the best and fastest weapon XP farms. So if you want to see more content like this, make sure to go ahead and subscribe with notifications on. We're almost at 60k, so if we could hit that, it would honestly mean the world to me. So this video will be split up into three different parts. The first one, Cold War Multiplayer. The second one, Zombies. And the third one, Warzone. There will also be timestamps, so if you guys want to skip forward to any specific game mode, just go ahead and do so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first method, which is Cold War Multiplayer. Now I've talked about this method a couple of times on my channel, and honestly it still is the best method to level up your weapons if you guys only want to play Cold War Multiplayer. So what you guys are going to want to do is play the 12v12 mosh pit game mode, but play it on hardcore. The reason you want to play it on hardcore is very simple. Obviously, everyone is one bullet to kill, and therefore, you can get a lot more kills in your game, and you can get some pretty nice feeds as well. Each 12v12 map is pretty small as well, which is pretty nice, so you can get a lot of kills, and a lot of things like this will happen. As you guys can see, 1, 2, 3, 4 push up to their spawn and I get another couple of kills and all of those kills were under just a couple of seconds and right there that is a ton of XP for my weapon. This works tremendously well and honestly all you want to keep doing is running to the enemy spawn and killing them off spawn as you can see I did it again there and I got five kills do it again here I can pick up one kill there whilst they're spawning another kill there whilst they're spawning and I'm pretty sure I get a few more yeah one two four kills right there when they spawn that is the best way to play this game mode honestly just keep running to the enemy spawn and kill them when they spawn and you guys are going to be able to rack up so many kills this also works pretty well if you want to play hardcore nuketown as well but for me personally I prefer this game mode because there's more enemies to kill the second method is going to be on zombies. Zombies is a very good way to level up your weapons and it's one of the easiest ways as well because obviously all you have to do is kill zombies and they don't shoot back so that's pretty nice. So what you guys are going to want to do is play on Outbreak and basically on Outbreak what you want to do is run around the map for a couple of minutes, kill all of the enemies that you guys see and this will get you a bunch of XP because it's on the early round of zombies. So basically on zombies, the earlier round, the more XP you get. And the only way to go through rounds on Outbreak is to do the objective. So it's a lot better than round based game modes because you can stay on that low round for as long as you want. So once you guys have went around the map for a couple of minutes and killed a bunch of zombies, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and do the first objective. The first objective is usually going to be some kind of objective where you have to survive in a room for a couple of minutes and these objectives are very good for weapon XP because for a couple of minutes there will be loads and loads of zombies attacking you and it's obviously good because there's an infinite amount of zombies that will keep spawning and spawning. So go ahead and do the first objective. Once you guys have done the first objective, go ahead and load into the second world. If you haven't played Outbreak before, all you have to do is follow all of the objectives. You can see them on the map and it will show up on the map where you want to go next. Just keep following that and you guys will be taken to the second world. Once you get to the second world, this is when you want to open up your map and look for an order event. An order event is a mini boss in Outbreak and it looks like this right here. This guy is called the Order. And when you go over to him, he will spawn a bunch of zombies for you to kill and this is going to get you a bunch of XP. So this right here is one whole entire method. So once again, what you guys are going to want to do is spawn into Outbreak. You can play with friends if you want to, or you can play solo. And then you want to go ahead and run around the map, killing a bunch of the zombies that are roaming around. There should be quite a lot of them. To find them, all you have to do is look at your minimap and you'll see a bunch of red pings. And then once you've done that for about 10 minutes, you're then going to want to go to the second objective, complete the second objective, go to the second world, and then go to the order event. After a couple of minutes, the order will stop spawning zombies. So once they have stopped spawning zombies, go ahead and leave the game and repeat. 
each time you do this method, you should receive around about 15 to 20 levels every single time you do it. Finally, we have the war zone method. Now, for the war zone method, there are obviously a couple of things you can do. You can either do supplier on contracts, you can do recon contracts. Those two are the best methods at the moment. Now, for me, I feel like supplier on contracts are a little bit outdated because every single person in Plunder goes for the supplier on contracts to get the weapon XP. And because of that, all of them go very, very quickly and there's not really much left for you to do. So instead, what you guys are going to want to do, I have experimented around quite a lot with this method and basically what you need is a team of four, grab a helicopter, grab any vehicle and do recon contracts instead. The more people who are on recon contracts, the faster they get completed. So that is why it's best if you do this with a team. If you do need some people to play with, go ahead and join my Discord. There's over 2,700 members in there and there's always people looking for teammates to do these methods with. So if you do need anyone to play with, just join my Discord. The final method in Warzone is definitely one of the best methods, but you obviously do have to be pretty good at the game and that is to head to Storage Town, pop a double XP token and basically just get kills. Now, like I said, you do have to be somewhat good at this. If you aren't the best Warzone player in the world, then you should probably do recon contracts instead because obviously you don't have to kill any other enemies. So if you aren't very good at Warzone and you can only average about 10 kills in Plunder, it's definitely more beneficial if you do supply run contracts or if you do recon contracts instead. However, if you can get kills and if you are a good player and you can get quite a lot of kills in a plunder match, I'm talking like 25, 30, 40 kills each game, I can usually drop about 40 to 50 kills in a plunder match. So for me, the best method for me and other good players are to just get kills. But like I said, if you aren't the best player, it's definitely faster if you just do recon contracts or supply run contracts because... Um, it's just a lot faster, you're going to get a lot more XP for the time you play and it's definitely more beneficial if you do that instead. So like I said, the best way if you are a good player in Plunder, just go ahead and go to Storage Town. You can spawn unlimited amount of times. Make sure to play solo because if you play with your teammates or if you play as a random squad fill, it will spawn you away from Storage Town, it will spawn you wherever they are. So the best way to do it is play solo and you guys are going to be able to rack up a bunch of kills. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.